everybody, this is Emily with Love in a Shoebox, and um, I'm trying an experiment today. I'm filming on my kitchen counter. I cleared it all off. I'm hoping that you will be able to see the items a little better. I know it was kind of hard to see some of them, and somebody commented, and I completely agreed. So I looked at some of other people's videos and tried to figure out how they were doing it. So anyway, we'll see how this works. So today I am doing a two to four year old box and boy and it's like a pirate sea theme so that's what we're doing and I just packed this one two days ago so the first thing we have is a wash rag I usually put the washcloth on top because that's where I find it fits the best for me it doesn't take up space spreads out and then we have a beach ball these I got at Walmart on clearance for 10 cents um, I had Kim pick them up for me actually my friend that works at Walmart so she bought all that there was left this <laughs> beach ball and I have a little sand toy it's a little rake for the sand I think that any kid could play with it in the dirt or the sand and this pelican beanie baby and I don't remember where I got this somebody donated it to me I thought it was super cute so he has this pelican Let's see. right there and I just love this this is a plush shark that is also a pencil bag so inside the belly of the shark, I have pencils, and I think there's like um, nine pencils. One of them has, you can see, one of them has whales on it. So I thought that was fun. And an eraser in there. And there's a pencil sharpener somewhere else in the box. So anyway, he can use this as a pencil bag or a place to hide things and it's it's a really cute soft plush this was at Walmart in the school supplies and I found it at one of the Walmarts that I've been frequenting um, with the school supply clearance and it was clearance to a dollar so I was excited because it's so fun and he has these whale and there's a whale shark and the others are all whales um, toys you can stick your finger in it it's fun these were on clearance too and they came in a package with more than what's right here and they were like I don't remember some some people got them for 75 cents I think I paid a dollar fifty for them but the little whales and these shoes and I want to show you how I packed the shoes inside of the shoes I have this jump rope and it fit perfectly the handles fit perfectly down inside the shoes so in here I don't know if these are little dinosaurs or alligators or something but they're some kind of creature <laughs> anyway these were after Easter clearance at Walmart and my friend Kim picked these up for me and they were probably like 50 cents or a quarter. I think she may have paid a quarter for them, 75% uh, off. So got those in there. Oh, and in the bottom of the shoe, here is a pair of socks. Is there anything in the bottom? Oh, there's something in this one too. Another pair of socks. So I put the socks in the toes and then the jump rope handles in the other part but these were really cute these um, I picked up last weekend at Dollar General on their super clearance and they were like um, under a dollar fifty they were 75% off and already reduced priced so I think they were they were they were very inexpensive and super cute and he has two toothbrushes and a baggie and here's his pencil sharpener it didn't fit in the shark very well. I mean, it fits in the shark, but to make it all fit in the box, it was it needed to be somewhere else. So it's just in the box. 
and he has a package of the flat play-doh i hadn't put a whole lot of these in because i do know i go back and forth about it being um something that's very temporary but these were on sale at dollar general for 37 cents as part of their summer toy clearance and they are flat they don't take up a lot of space so i thought it was a fun thing to add because i got such a good deal on it and it doesn't take up very much space in the box the big canisters do take up quite a bit of space so i haven't wanted to put those in because it's just such a temporary toy but these do have these packets have a ziploc so that you can reseal it and for 37 cents i just thought that would be a good thing to add he has some fat crayons and this coloring book i don't plan on keeping this coloring book in there i want i look for a pirate theme one the one at dollar tree i didn't really like it it looked kind of scary so i'm still i'll probably look for like a sea creature one this is just a space holder in the box so yeah i put on the note on top of the box for a coloring book sea theme or pirate theme that's not scary it's kind of like i'm looking for something that's not ugly if that makes sense okay he has this really cute shark t-shirt and i think this really went well with the pirate theme melissa flores sent this to me so this is like the perfect box for it i was really excited um this is the shirt that he's gonna have and then i've got these little shorts and they're both i believe they're both a size this is a four five and i think the shorts are a five t so if they don't fit yet he can save them for later and then this this is a pirate ship sand toy and it, the rake that i first got came with it it's a rake and this little mast goes right inside here it clicks down in there and when you take it apart it comes apart Let's see yeah and this is like a seine that you can put sand through and then it has inside a couple of has a pirate i mean not a pirate um a parrot little sand mold and a pirate little sand mold and a little shovel and it all makes a boat so these were at dollar general at one of them if you guys have dollar general where you are um you might know that each store seems to have different stock and when they have their big end of season clearances they they each have different things so like i frequent all of them around me there's like probably six or seven in every little town so like when they're having one of their big clearance events i will stop at like over the weekend at all of them and they each have different things that are left that are on sale so the one that was closest to me had the pirate ships they were originally five dollars so i think it was like two two fifty for the pirate ship so i thought that was fun and that's kind of what inspired the whole thing was the pirate ship and this shark i picked up the shark and i thought oh my goodness they would be so cute together he has a bar of soap in the little soap container that I got at Dollar Tree. Right now, the Dollar Trees around me are completely out of these. So some of my boxes are just getting soap in the box that came in in a Ziploc bag until they get some more in. But yes, they, they're in like a few times a year. Um, maybe they're still in stock where you are, but you can get two of them for a dollar and sometimes they're packaged three for a dollar. He has a pair of scissors and a little pirate ship this ship has wheels on the bottom so he can scoot it around this was on clearance with the um like about a month and a half ago with the toy clearance at walmart they were around a dollar so i thought that would be fun for him and i did include a regular pencil pouch this i picked up for a quarter last week school clearance at Walmart just in case you know he wanted to use the shark as just a plush and hide his little toys or whatever he wants to put in there um, he does have a pencil pouch that he can put his school supplies in if he wishes and lastly on the bottom of my box I have lots of ocean stickers 
These I ordered from Amazon months ago. They were very inexpensive. They came in a big set of all different stickers. They aren't available anymore because I went to order some more because they were such a good deal. They were just pennies a sheet, but um, they're no longer on Amazon right now. So, but there's lots of sticker sets for inexpensive. If you go to Amazon and you type in sticker sheets, you can find all kinds of good deals that are very inexpensive for a variety of stickers. Okay, that's everything in this Boys Ocean Pirate 2-4 to four box. Thank you everybody for watching.